Hey everybody, this is Mike, uh, and you're watching Real Black, and today we have the honor and privilege of being here on opening weekend of the movie Quest, which is set in Philadelphia with our fellow Philadelphians, Jonathan Olchewski, and Quest, and PJ, and producer, Philly, may, may as well be Philly, <laughs> Sabrina Schmidt-Gordon. Dear God, we thank you for this man and this woman. Together, they can conquer anything. I love North Philly. This is the neighborhood that we lived in all our lives. A lot of people say, you know, their neighborhoods were tough, but North Philly definitely is a tough neighborhood. We have as our very special guest today, Chris Rainey, one of Philadelphia's premier erected producers. These guys, when they come here, look to you for courage and encouragement, a sense of worth. It's a safe place, and it gives a positive outlet for a lot of these people. Well, how does it feel? That's the first thing. That's why we're here. Uh, it's amazing. So much love. You know, the reactions, you know, to the film. You know, once we get out of a screening, uh, you know, just a lot of hugs for these guys, a lot of, like, deep conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been really incredible to put 10 years into it. And then kind of the love coming back after all of that effort and energy has been really beautiful. Mm -hmm. As a Q, I'm going to hand it to you. Long, long journey. Talk about it. Uh, definitely. It's, it's, it's been quite, quite a journey. We've been uh, had, a fort um, had the fortune to travel all over the United States, have fun showing the film to everybody. Uh, definitely, uh, John and I uh, became friends years ago before this became a movie when it was just a documentary, uh, so to speak. Not even a documentary, what do you call it? Uh, photo a, photo, a photo essay, yeah, so to speak, like a photo essay. And then it kind of, you know, es you know t it, it grew, escalated into something more. I mean, we just had a fun ride on our way through this journey, so to speak. She's turning into a teenager out like that because you were like the coolest five-year-old ever. PJ, you grew up in this movie, so you got that for forever. And you traveled now. I miss you guys at Sundance, but have been along for just a piece of the journey. I mean, how, how does it feel now? I mean, as you, you've probably seen this a bunch of times. How do you feel about it? And you're going to, as these folks cross through, <laughs> welcome, you're on TV. Uh -huh. I feel as though, like, ever since the movie, it just taught me a lot. Like, and it makes me look at life way different. Like, the community, I just feel like the world, it just needs more help. Like, it opened my mind to a lot of stuff that I didn't realize was going on around me. And, you know, it just made me grow, too. Like, right. And, you know, so in this film, it's not just about the Rainey family, but there's, there's deeper issues. I'm, every time I've seen it, I've been touched, and I know audiences have been touched. I mean, Sabrina, can you speak to that and what, what attracted you to the project? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. You know, this is um, Jonathan's first film, which I think is quite remarkable. It's a beautiful film, and but for me, when he reached out to me to be producer, because I've been working on documentaries for a while now, I thought that this film was like a really great opportunity to tell a different kind of story about communities like North Philly, about families like the Rainies that we never get to see in mainstream media, and we never get to see them told in this way. There's a way in which that you only hear about it when something bad has happened on the evening news or something like that. And there's so much more to, uh, to our communities. And it's really great to be able to tell a story about ourselves and about our communities in a way that we recognize ourselves in them, as opposed to having other people telling the world who we are. And I think, too, that we can use this film to really make a difference in communities, not just in North Philly, but around the country, because we watch the Rainies as they navigate so many pressing issues. <laughs> It's really, it's it's live, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was Abe Vigoda or somebody. I'm not sure. I, he was famous. The man who, he's famous. He deserves his life. Yeah, all right, so. All right. Let me just say, I just want to make sure people can find us. So, like, yeah. if you want to learn more about, like, what we want to do with the film, we want to show it at community um, um, events and organizations and partner with folks all all over Philly, all over the country. So if you're interested, you can find us all over social media. We, uh, do at Quest the Doc, and you'll find our Facebook page. You'll find our Instagram. You'll find our our Twitter, and you can like just reach out to us and um, and we'd love to like partner with yeah, you. Let's team yeah, up. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let, let's make this a movement. By by all means, go see us. I mean, shout out to you guys. I mean, the perseverance big opening night as we saw the crowds everybody's here all of Philly is here and we celebrate you and it's so great to we're not at the finish line but it's so great to celebrate this yeah. moment so check it out so now I, I get my selfie action um, <laughs> as we do this we, had a, right. we, we nailed it
All right, so you. Yo! Yay! Till Thursday, come out to the Ritz Force. <laughs> and other cities. And other new, yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. my goodness, goodness, yeah. So we open on Friday, December 8th in New York at the Quad, and then on the 15th at the Lamley Monica uh, Film Center in LA. And then more to come. Check out our website, quest documentary. I always get it dot wrong. Com. Dot com. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Quest dash document. Yeah, you'll find, you'll find us. Find you'll find us. And um, we'll be all over. We're doing like nine cities so far. More to come. So check and come out and tell your friends. Okay, so now I need to shout out. I'm going to reframe Brittany. I was gonna say, don't forget Freestyle so Fridays too. Say, say, if you say your name or hey, I'm so and so, I'm so and so, and you're watching Real Black. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Right, so, are you used to passing the mic when okay. you do the freestyle thing? Right? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So are we gonna, all in still? What are we yeah, I'm just framed up. So you want to say your name, say your name. Oh, okay. And then so right, now, you I'll, the yeah. mic, and then, I, 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 and then I'll, together, if you can, and you're watching Real Black. And you're, and you're watching Real okay. Black. Okay. All right. You ready? Hi, I'm Q Rainey. My name is Patricia Rainey. My name is Sabrina Schmidt-Gordon. Jonathan Olszewski, a.k.a. Peter Parker. And you're, you're watching, watching Real Black. Black. Oh, I messed it up. Did All I right. mess it up? <laughs> All right, we got to try it again. Should we say, um, the real should we say Black, Quest right? or something? Like, from Quest, like, I'm um, Rainey. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like nobody cares about this little section of the city. In the Anger and your sadness and confusion. As a mom, all we can do is roll with the punches. We got the seed. Somebody needs to plant that seed and let it grow. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do for my neighborhood. North Philly, North Philly, North Philly, North Philly. We could have recorded that whole thing. That was that was art. <laughs> Hi, I'm Q Rainey. I'm PJ Rainey. I'm Sabrina Schmidt Gordon. Jonathan Olszewski, a.k.a. Peter Parker. We made a documentary called Quest, and you're watching The Real, Real Black. Black. And I said The Real, too. <laughs> We're going to edit me out again. <laughs>